Let's post flyers. Let's check Reddit. Let's get creative. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most chilling mysteries from the furthest corners of the internet, both solved and unsolved. Why are you watching this? Who sent you this crap? Number 10, I am God. What the hell is this? While unsettling content isn't rare on the internet, there are still examples that will rattle you to your core. One example is this 4chan-based mystery. Essentially, after someone claimed their friend's computer had been corrupted with random image and text files, users tried their hand at piecing the answer together. We could try the same hack. Track the prize line number using the dial tones. I'm already there. As they progressed, they found alarming details such as binary code that translated to the phrase, I am God. Once the picture had been put together, it revealed an image of a bright red screaming face. The thread was highly debated, with people arguing over whether it was legit or if it was just someone trolling. While the answer is more than likely the latter, there are still far more questions than answers. So we've been unable to identify its origins or translate its exact meaning, but we know it has unusual properties. Number 9, Ted the Caver. Oh my god, it's incredible. Clear! This story helped bring about one of the internet's biggest creations, creepypastas, which are a variety of virtual horror stories. One such story was of Ted the Caver, an adventurous man who explores a cave, only to grow more lost and find countless horrors within it. The story was updated via blog posts, giving it an extra degree of realism, and the depiction of Ted's growing unease and anxiety as he explored only added to that. Sarah, you have to calm down. And the only way you're gonna do that is to breathe, yeah? Okay, <laughs> breathe. Slowly. It became a hot topic in the early aughts, with countless arguments over its authenticity due to its descriptions of the cave. While the author revealed that some elements may have been exaggerated, there's no doubt that this story has left a legacy that will live online forever. Well, I probably wouldn't be here right now. That's for sure! But like I always say, your supreme selfishness is our gain. Number 8. Grave Robbing for Morons Look for something about one year old at the most. If you want to, you can look for a freshly dug grave. What is it about VHS quality that makes everything instantly creepier? As if talking about desecrating graves wasn't unsettling enough, the grainy footage only makes it all the more disturbing. Grave Robbing for Morons was a VHS tape that has been circulated online over the years, depicting a young man as he casually explains how to get away with stealing from graves. It's hard, but um, in a way, it like, it's weird and everything. You can see what the person looked like. He also went into detail on how you can tell the difference between real and fake bones. This twisted tutorial was only made worse when he held up a skull, seemingly proving his credibility. The truth behind the video is still unknown, but regardless, it has remained a shining example of how wild the internet can be. So that's about it for now. Um, the next time we'll show you the um, coffin itself. Number 7, 112 Dirt Bag. We got our hopes up and we were thinking that we were finally closer to some answers. Not much is known about him besides his infamous claim to fame. 112 Dirtbag published a video laughing eerily at the camera before celebrating the anniversary of a woman who had gone missing. What was more chilling was that his channel name was weirdly similar to a comment her father had made about who could have hurt her. Online sleuths hit the scene, suggesting that he was the one responsible for her disappearance. 112 Dirtbag was so convincing that he was interviewed by the police, only to be released after it was revealed he had supposedly just been trolling. While the trail has gone cold, the fact that someone may have lied about being involved in a victim's disappearance just for clout is distressing in itself. Remind me to get off the internet. I'm too late. Number 6. 11BX1371. I gotta warn you, my camera hand is shaky. Everything about this is ominous, from the plague doctor masks to the desolate setting. The constant discordant electronic sounds and the shaky camera work only adds to the unease. Beyond the surface, there is even more creepiness to be found. The more it continued to circulate, the more people realized there were secrets hidden beneath the surface. Slowly, ciphers in the video were discovered. This caused mass speculation as people tried to solve them. Mom! I think I found the answer on the internet! There have also been images of gore found hidden within the video as well. There are tons of theories about what the truth is, ranging from a twisted prank to a marketing scheme. Regardless, Reddit dutifully records each update, and soon, they may hopefully come close to finally cracking the case. 
Do you know anything else about him? I'd never seen him on there before, but you could check the logs. I'll approve you. I'm an admin. Oh. Number five, the Jack Freese emails. Don't open it. Don't open the email. Don't open the email. Don't open it. Emails can already be stressful enough. Imagine what seemingly getting one from the undead must have felt like. There's elements of a classic ghost story, with a supposed spirit named Jack Freese reaching out to his loved ones from the afterlife. I know this probably feels a little bit morbid, but I just hate the idea that I'm not going to be there to see you freak out over turning 30. I mean, it kills me not to be there. <laughs> That's funny. It's not. While the reports were initially brushed away as a mean-spirited joke, the family insisted that there had been details that only he would have known. With this information in mind, more guesswork was done and wild accusations were thrown out, from Freese's family staging the whole thing to the man himself scheduling the correspondence before his passing. While the answer is still unknown to this day, we can't imagine what it is like for the family to receive those messages, assuming they weren't responsible for them. What kind of person doesn't respond to a grieving wife? Number 4. Markovian Parallax Denigrate For this mystery, we'll need to hop off the internet and onto Usenet. What'd you tell him? I logged off. Markovian Parallax Denigrate was the title of a series of cryptic threads and the original unsolvable online puzzle. It was written off at the time and rediscovered decades later by new users. While they could have been the cause of an early text generator, there's something about them that can't be explained away so easily. Let's take a little peek behind the curtain. What? You have no idea how crazy that is, do you? Things only got weirder when the person behind the odd messages scrambled their IP, pinning them on someone else. That threw off the set entirely, and people have been hungry for answers ever since. Today, it remains a legend of the old net. And she found some dark corners online. Things no child should see. Number 3. r slash a858. At one point, this was Reddit's white whale. How did they find this place? Reddit. Why is it always Reddit? The sub seemingly popped up out of nowhere, with the only post being a series of random letters and numbers. Redditors everywhere were convinced there were elaborate clues. This person wants to play a game of cat and mouse, and I'm up for that. They took on the challenge readily, trying to decrypt some of the messages. While some were able to be solved, nothing ever led to concrete answers. Things were made even more cryptic when the sub was suddenly made private in the mid-2010s, supposedly ending the mystery in its tracks. It was later revealed that it had been a marketing scheme the entire time. While followers were disappointed that it wasn't anything more exciting, they had to admit that it at least brought them together as a community. Terry, tear it up. I love when calamity brings people together. Sir, it got another retweet from the mayor. Number two, WebDriver Torso. News outlets around the world are now reporting on the YouTube channel WebDriver Torso. People online will create mysteries about anything if they let their imaginations run wild enough. In the early 2010s, users were puzzled when strange videos were posted to an account called WebDriver Torso. They just depicted colorful shapes bouncing around. The video containing both a blue or red shape seemed to be some type of code. However, as they were published more consistently, guesses began to circulate. Some suggested that they were messages from spies, while others guessed they were recruitment videos. It was later discovered that Google owned the account, which only made things more dramatic. It was finally revealed that the profile was a test, creating new content as a way of keeping an eye on quality. If WebDriver Torso had not loaded these unusual videos by automation, it would have taken it five minutes to edit and load each one, approximately 390,000 minutes. While it may have been benign, this hasn't caused it to fade away. In fact, it's been embraced by Google itself. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Cicada 3301 The anonymous author who went by the four-digit pseudonym 3301 challenged users to uncover a message hidden within the image. Unbeknownst to those who stumbled across it, someone had just set in motion one of the most elaborate scavenger hunts the internet has ever seen. The creepiest mysteries are the ones that are truly unsolvable. Cicada 3301 puzzles hit the internet throughout the early 2010s, with the first one being released at the beginning of 2012. The object of the project? To supposedly find people with the highest IQs. A growing community of armchair detectives sought to unravel this elaborate puzzle, but no one was quite sure what to make of it. If there's one thing the web loves, 
it's a challenge. People set out to solve it and realized that it incorporated cryptography, which is essentially the study of hidden code. There have been plenty of conspiracies floating around about the group, with some even claiming that they're a cult or behind larger conspiracies. The project went dark after a few years, as their third hint was never officially solved. Until it is, we may never get the next piece of this case. Cicada made their last public statement in April of 2017, merely warning against disinformation. But the current status of the third puzzle, and the possibility of a fourth, remains clouded in mystery. There is the distinct figure of a little boy peering out from the doorway. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're examining the 10 creepiest pictures on the internet. It was the last picture Mandel thought he'd ever take with his best friend. The Grand Canyon Watcher. R slash Ask Reddit hosted the thread, What is an extremely dark slash creepy story most people don't know about? And it prompted an eerie response from user Zombie Gaddafi. He relays the story of his uncle, who took a trip to the Grand Canyon with some friends. They took a picture near some bushes, and when it was developed, they noticed a second mystery person in the photo. Peering out from the bushes, the man is wearing a hooded black sweater and appears to be gazing into the camera. According to Zombie Gaddafi, his uncle has no idea who the other man is. Maybe he does and took the photo as a prank, or maybe it's a convincing shop. Either way, it's certainly creepy. Wind Turbine on Fire Working on wind turbines is no joke. Not only are you high in the air, but there is also a penchant for fires. That's what happened to this particular turbine in the Netherlands' Piet de Witt wind farm. Engineers were working on the turbine when a short circuit caused a fire. It spread rapidly and blocked their only means of escape, trapping two of the engineers high above the ground. Not only was their escape route blocked, but firefighters were powerless owing to the height of the turbine. A famous picture was taken of the engineers as they stood atop the billowing turbine, black smoke spewing away from the raging fire. Unfortunately, both men would lose their lives. Tyler Hadley A young man poses with another, a stern look on his face, and a cup in his left hand. It's like any other picture you'd find on Facebook or Instagram. Only this one is hiding a malicious truth. This man is 17-year-old Tyler Hadley, and he just killed his parents. Tyler Hadley and Michael Mandel took this picture Saturday night. It was the last picture Mandel thought he'd ever take with his best friend. On July 16, 2011, Hadley disposed of his mother and father with a claw hammer and hid their bodies in the bedroom. He then cleaned up the blood and hosted a house party. Dozens of people attended, and some reportedly noticed a rotten smell. Hadley confessed to his friend Michael, who found the bodies in the master bedroom. Michael reported the crime to a hotline, but not before taking the aforementioned selfie with Hadley. After I found his parents, I knew it was going to be the last time I seen him. This is that look on his face. You could see the horror on it. The Night Visitor We return to Reddit for this famous picture of a nighttime visitor. User Fat and Depressed posted to the r slash creepy subreddit with the title reading, Got a notification from my smart home app in the middle of the night saying your doorbell detected a visitor. Accompanied with the text was a chilling photo of a man peering into the doorbell camera. He appears to be holding his hands behind his back and leaning forward with a playful grin on his face. Fat and depressed was rightfully creeped out, but didn't seem to think much of the incident. They reported that they were fine, that the intruder never returned, and that they never expected the photo to blow up in the way it did. Blanche Meunier A woman named Blanche Meunier was born on March 1, 1849 in Poitiers, France. She came from a bourgeois family and had many suitors. But she had her eyes on a destitute lawyer, which drew the ire of her aristocratic mother. Before she could marry the lawyer, Meunier disappeared. She remained missing for the next 25 years, until the police received an anonymous letter telling them to check Madame Meunier's house. They found Blanche Meunier in the attic, weighing just 55 pounds and covered in bugs and feces. A picture was taken depicting an emaciated Meunier laying in bed and holding hands with another person. Her mother had locked Meunier in the attic to prevent her from marrying the lawyer. The Oma Bombing The picture itself is not very scary. A man and his son stand in the middle of the street, the son perched atop his father's shoulders. Right next to them is a red Vauxhall Cavalier. Unbeknownst to the family, that red car was harboring a bomb. 
It was planted by the real Irish Republican Army as part of the Northern Ireland conflict. It exploded at 3.10 p.m. on the afternoon of August 15, 1998, killing 29 and injuring hundreds. A bomb has exploded in the center of Oma, and there are reports that a number of people have been killed. The real IRA claimed that the bomb was intended for the Oma courthouse and that the dead civilians were unintentional collateral. The father and son depicted in the picture survived, but the photographer perished in the bombing. About a hundred people have been injured. It's the worst bomb attack in 30 years of terrorism in the province. Amityville Ghost. It's one of the most famous photos ever taken of a supposed ghost. It depicts a stairwell railing and two open doors. A young boy with haunting white eyes appears out of the left door. Regardless of your personal belief in ghosts, there's no denying that this is one creepy picture. It was taken inside the famous Amityville house, which supposedly became haunted after Ronald DeFeo killed his entire family inside. After a short, sharp interrogation, DeFeo confessed to the crimes. The story is famously depicted in Jay Anson's The Amityville Horror and its subsequent movie adaptations. This particular photo was supposedly taken by Gene Campbell, who was working alongside paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren. Some believe that the boy is John DeFeo, who met a tragic fate by his older brother's hands. Teresca draws home. A hair-raising picture has made the rounds on the internet. It depicts a young girl standing in front of a blackboard on which a flurry of lines are drawn. She stares into the camera, her eyes wide and her mouth slightly agape. It's a very surreal photo with the power to chill blood. Many people erroneously believe that this child was raised in a concentration camp, but that is not true. Research has proven that she is Tereska Adventovska, a young girl who spent most of her life in psychiatric institutions. She was sent to this school after World War II, in which she was starved, bombed, and hit by a piece of shrapnel, all of which impacted her mental condition. Momo. The internet has made a lot of good creepy pastas, but none are as scary as Momo. The legend of Momo started in 2018, claiming that children were being influenced by the mysterious user to enact cases of self-harm and violence. This became an internet phenomenon and caused a moral panic. Suddenly, it exploded, and we've had hundreds of people get in touch to say that their children have been sent home from school with letters warning about this, all based on no actual hard evidence. However, there were no reported cases of people being hurt or killed, and Momo was quickly labeled a hoax. While the panic didn't last long, Momo itself is now a legendary piece of internet history. It's enough to induce nightmares with its enormously wide eyes, thin face, stringy hair, and sharp joker smile. This was not a supernatural entity, but a sculpture made by a special effects company called Link Factory. Momo began life as an unlovable but otherwise blameless piece of art in a Japanese gallery. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Regina Walters. Serial killers have left behind some incredibly disturbing material, including this picture of Regina Walters. It depicts Walters wearing a black dress and holding out her hands in a defensive gesture. She was a teenage runaway who was picked up by a trucker and serial killer named Robert Rhodes who may have killed more than 50 women between 1975 and 1990. Walters was imprisoned inside the truck for nearly a month, as it had been converted into a malicious chamber. She was then taken to a remote barn and killed, but not before Rhodes snapped this final picture. If it's any consolation, it was Walters' death that put away Rhodes for life, as he was found guilty of first-degree homicide. When I saw those photos, I said, this is Regina Walters. Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.